Hey, man, it's your boy Barlow. Do I remember Claire, CEO of Vintage Dev, man? Yeah, so this video, I want to do like, I don't know, people ask me why I started Vintage Dev, how I came up with all the stuff, how I came up with my logo, where the bear came from. I did some radio interviews and magazine interviews, but I guess I'll do a video over today because, I mean, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people still ask. A lot of people want to know why I came up with the original design. Well, I just ain't, a lot of stuff people see ain't even the original design. So, I mean, because I started in 2018, and I'm like, mm, it ain't getting no, eh. People are asking about it. People are hyping it up, but, I mean, it took a minute for it to actually start selling. So, I guess that's all that today with this video right here. So, yeah. Yeah, man. So, pretty much, you know, that RV collab on the hoodie. But, yeah, um, pretty much basically, I got vintage death from... Venice, cause my grandparent parent always said, "Y'all what we were back in the day." Not just like, but you know, we make it look younger or whatever. Right to the new school, pretty much. So pretty much, that was kind of where that came from. And then like, I got death, cause I like history, so like wars and stuff like that. So I was like, something catchy. I was like, nobody gonna spit death. I was like, so catchy. I was like, I was worried about the name at first, but I was just like, I don't know, it fit me. I was like, not worried about what people think. Is they going to like it or they not? I mean, nothing to go back and change and come up with a different name if it don't work. But, I mean, I just thought it was something catchy and it had a meaning to it. So, that's where I got Vintage Death from. And also, like, uh, I really did. It started with me and Logan came up with it. But, you know, he didn't really want to do it that much. So, he just let me just go in and do it and ran with it. I mean, he still support me and everything. Do all that. So, I like, so, shit. It is what it is. Hey, everybody got a different lane, so shit. My boy support me. I rock him. It's just what it, what it was. Well, yeah, so pretty much basically, like, I don't know. So our first couple designs, we came up with ourselves, honestly. Like, we did them. He did them on Photoshop. He was still in high school back then. And so, like, crazy thing, I've been doing it for this many years as it is. Crazy, actually. But um, we did the first logo. We drew it up or whatever. Then he like put it like on kind of on photo. He did on Photoshop, uploaded to Photoshop at school. And it was our first logo. And like, it was like a, we did like sword and it had VD or whatever. I'm gonna show it in the video on here. And then like, so pretty much basically like, mm, put on, we'll put it on the front of the shirt and like the back. We did like design. And so like, I don't know. We didn't really have like, I mean, we had the money to put into it, but we didn't, like, know, like, the connects and stuff, where to go with it and stuff. So, pretty much, basically, like, we just, I found, I found out about, oh, uh, I can't think of how, what I, what it was called. But we did, basically, a drop shipping. But it's not the company that I work with. Now, that's, I still do a little bit of drop shipping. But, um, like, so, pretty much, basically, it was drop shipping, but like what I quickly learned, like maybe the, I feel like the design was fire. I some people say come back and drop it one day. I don't know. I don't probably want. I done moved on from that phase, but I mean, drop shipping works when you got like a um. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't suggest it. I mean, if you want to start off, you can. But I mean, I feel like a lot of times, especially if you try to be like a bud, people want stuff right then and there. Like that's what I learned, honestly. And then like. Because, mm, I think I made, like, a couple hundred dollars out drop shipping just because, you know. But, I mean, people ordering stuff. I'm still working on trying to get people to order stuff now, like, on my website. And, like, sometimes, like, order it, but, like, just hit pick up and I have it on hand. I just bring it to you. But, I mean, that's a work in progress. And, I mean, what's I going to be bored for, like, when I expand, go, like, get bigger and stuff like that. But, yeah, so, like. Dropship. That's why I feel like it took a minute to start get off, and I like finally like one day fuck it. I'm gonna invest in myself. When I got a cricket machine, got a printer, vinyl, got all the stuff I need to do to uh, make my own stuff. And I say, really, for that point, it went up. I got I had got a um logo made, Keon down to make my first logo, fifty dollars. Best investment ever. So I say all together, Creek Machine like two hundred, logo fifty. The printer was like fifty. I say equipment. I mean material. 
shirts and like vinyl and stuff. I said probably like two hundred. So I spent like what maybe five hundred cent dollars at the most. I said I know I made that back quick and like Quisha pretty much taught me everything. Before I did that though, I forgot Quisha made like my first batch of shirts. I don't know. We came up with the fun off uh cricket and like mm, it was smooth. I, know, I had like a VD on the back and had like Vince Death on the front. It was pretty smooth. I liked it, but I don't know. I wanted to like uh, start doing my own stuff because like people be busy having other orders and stuff too. So I wanted to rock and do my own stuff. And that way, you know, if somebody hit me up, I could get it to them right then. That was my motto. Like, I ain't going to lie. I still like that. If somebody put an order today, I want to have it to them tomorrow. If not the same day, honestly. So, I mean, that's what I think. So, that's why I started getting my own stuff and doing it myself. So, I like have a load. But so, basically, I had bought, I bought all the equipment, did the shirts. First day, pretty much the same logo, but without, like, the RSV and this stuff in the foot. Like, I had the sword and the video or whatever and like what i did small pocket size logo i remember i ain't even had like a press or a cricket press at the time i was just using the iron like straight iron like I made small pocket logo shirt all different color first day posted them on facebook went crazy like i me and my homeboy dj and man we went everywhere that day we were starting at Elberton. We went to Livonia, to Cole, Hart, back to Livonia, Royston, back to Elberton, back to Hartwell. Like, we went everywhere in one day, like, and shit. We did that in head car, like, oh, I say, when you do it, so you gotta have people that really rock with you, that care about you winning, cause I'm like, shit, he ain't having for no gas money, he ain't having for nothing, like, man, he's still locked to this day, like, shit. Most folks ain't finna take you out around these places in their car on their gas just to see you win. Like, shit. I fuck with that nigga. Well, yeah. Shout out my boy DJ, man, you know. My boy, he coming back with some soon, though. I be on my boy to draw some stuff. But, yeah, pretty much the first day. I think I made, like, the first day I made, like, $500, $600. Like, like, I went up. And it was just like, shit. It was up from there pretty much, basically. Like, once I got the logo from Keon and I seen the stuff, it, like, the reaction they got on social media, because it was supposed to be a kid logo, and it went up, and I said, I had, I, like, I had to invest in myself and really do it. And, like, shit, been doing it for since 2018 now, 2022, so four years. And I said, it been going up. I said, I'm trying to elevate more and more every year, you know. Get better quality stuff. I mean, the cricket wasn't the best quality, but I mean, it was good to start off with. So, I mean, somebody want to start with stuff. And I wasn't doing vinyl. I feel like vinyl is better quality than, like, the when you print it through the inkjet and press it on. Just in my opinion. It's still not the best quality, but I mean, it's pretty good quality. And I mean, you can't get good quality stuff with the print on, like, the inkjet and all that. But it's better quality stuff. And shit, I'm on the better quality stuff now. So, like, that's what I'm working on now manufacturers, stuff like that. Got people that do my DTG. I want to open up a store this year. Like, I want to do a lot. I think, my, I don't know, like, I already own the manufacturer stuff and getting people to do that. But I really, I think now that I want to open up a store, so I'm back doing this full time. Like, I open up a store, I want to get a DTG printer. I want to, like, kind of have it like a store, so that, mm, warehouse, like, in the back. I can share my own order and I can make my own stuff. I mean, of course, I still get stuff from overseas, but, um, like, have a DTG printer back there. I want to do, like, order for other folks. Like, they got a clothes brand. Hell, other folks start off and stuff like that. So, I mean, mm, I mean, it really all really for my brand, I say. I got a sideways collection out right now. It's just something I threw together real quick. It was smooth. I like it. I mean, Sometimes simple stuff said, that's the crazy part about it. Folk like it. And I mean, I thought it was simple. I mean, it's smooth though, I ain't gonna lie. So, I mean, hey. The thing about being creative, sometimes the simple stuff that works, sometimes the stuff that take a lot of work that don't even really work. But I mean, it really all, I mean, about Vinny Dell. I mean, hey. Keep shopping Vinny Dell. I do. Person, I'm looking for a collab right now with anybody that want to be a brand, you know. 
I ain't gonna charge you because I'm out here searching for a class, but I wanted to be someone that can help both of us. Because, I mean, a lot of class, I feel like, just help the other person. But, like, this collab right here went up. Best collab ever. Y'all got a shot, RFG. Parika and Van. Hey, Black Hefts, Beauty Supply Store, they got it all. You got a shot, though. No lie. But, yeah, I say, I think that's all for this video, you know. See, that's it, man, you know. I got any, anything y'all want me to do a part two? Y'all comment question down below or whatever. I say I feel y'all in, you know. Well, how I get stuff from I don't know. About it though. But yeah, that's it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, shop Vintage Dell. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter at Vintage Dell, double underscore. Website www.vintage.dell.com. Hey, that's it, man. Like, comment, subscribe.